Um, it's a very special uh, occasion in our department. We were uh, given the privilege of recognizing a member of our department who um, is moving into the emeritus status. And uh, so today we have the privilege of recognizing uh, Karen Matthews for her many, many contributions to our department. So many contributions that I had to write them down and now I have, <laughs> I have my notes. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. So uh, Karen has been here for 42 years and in that tenure has made just an amazing number of contributions to our department, to our local community, to the national research agenda, and to the international agenda. Karen is recognized widely as a leader in women's health. She's focused on the psychosocial factors that contribute to cardiovascular diseases. Since 1994, she has led the Pittsburgh site of the study of women's health across the nation, which has yielded landmark findings that have advanced science for women across the translational spectrum. Last year, the American Psychosomatic Society presented Karen with their Distinguished Scientist Award, which recognizes outstanding lifetime achievements in psychosomatic medicine. Karen has also received numeral, numerous additional career achievement awards, including, but not limited to, the Academy of Behavioral Medicine Research Lifetime Achievement Award, the Association of Psychological Science Lifetime Achievement Award for Applied Research, the American Psychosomatic Society President's Award, and the American Psychological Association Career Service to Health Psychology Award. Karen is also an elected member of the National Academy of Medicine, one of the highest honors that a researcher in our country can achieve. It's really not possible to adequately describe the breadth and depth of Karen's scientific and leadership accomplishments, of her national and local contributions, of her profound impact on countless students, trainees, including the many fortunate individuals who uh, were supported by the T32 Cardiovascular Behavioral Medicine Research Training Program, which Karen directed for many years, faculty members in many departments, colleagues from across the nation, all of whose careers and lives have been so positively shaped by her involvement and influence. Karen has also uh, been extremely generous with her time and talents. Over the past decade, since I have had the privilege of being chair, I've gone to Karen countless times, seeking her advice and help on a range of challenges or opportunities. On every occasion, without exception, Karen had great ideas and always with great enthusiasm and effectiveness, stepped forward to help address the challenge or seize the opportunity always with her trademark, even-keeled, inclusive approach, and steadfast diligence. Karen, I wish you were here because I would like to say to you in person that we owe you so much. And from the depths of our hearts, we thank you for being a leader and colleague who made all of us better at what we do and helped make our department a great place to work. We wish you much enjoyment and continued success in this next stage of your career. So Karen, thank you and congratulations.